Hello there ladies and gentlemen, signal here and welcome back to our video. So in this one we're going to talk a little bit about League Invasions because I'm so mad at this. The, probably those problems were happening kind of every season, but this time I was fully involved myself, so this pissed me off a lot more. So first of all, let's talk about the rewards. If we take a look at the... Um, first you got to get through the battle logs, then you go to... Um, Previous splits, leaderboards. I the, the leaderboards are not for the previous split, but whatever. So for a split, you're supposed to receive some rewards depending on where you are exactly. And uh, the problem with those... Oh, it doesn't even show me the rewards. Okay, that's great. But the thing is, the rewards for the split, as far as I remember, are supposed to be the resource that you're going to get to interact with the classes and the passives. That's the only way to get that resource. There's no chest in the game. There's no way to pay money for it. The only way to get resources to further upgrade your classes and character passives is from the League Invasions. And this first split, at the very least, was a huge problem. I personally didn't get any rewards on either of my accounts and I made a community poll on YouTube. Uh, I'm kind of rushing this video out because uh, I'm mad at the moment. I might be less mad later, so let's take advantage of this. It only has like 40 votes right now. I asked if you got the rewards either on iOS or on Android. Looks like most people did not get the rewards. Most Some people did, which is weird, which is also weird. Because at that point, I'm not sure what it terms is it. It's not like iOS got the rewards and Android did not. It's like some people on iOS got them, some people on iOS didn't, some people on Android got them, some people on Android didn't. And this is j just so weird. Like, if nobody got them, I, I would be like, yeah, they, they, they kind of messed that up. If only people on one device got them, yeah, they kind of messed that up. But how do you mess it up so that... Some specific people get them and some specific people don't get them. And it gets me real mad. I was looking forward to this. I, I went to sleep last night and I was like, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to upgrade the Batman Ninja Batman passive and get this to level 2, get more crit damage on it. And I can't do that because I got absolutely no resources and there's currently no other way to get them. And this is a pretty cool system that I would love to interact with more, but I can't because even though I did the things that I was supposed to do to get the resources to upgrade this, I didn't get them. And with the split rewards, there were problems previously and hey, usually I don't care that much because they are, they are bad. But when it comes to getting class ascension materials now, that is going to be a lot more important. And me not getting that, why am I even playing this fucking game mode at this point? <sighs> this, this sucks ass. And on top of that, there's a lot of other problems. And look, I can deal with the other problems. I can deal with Brainiac passives still not working and my... Uh, legendary characters not having their damage capped when they get hit. I, I can deal with that. It's not the end of the world. I can deal with the Gadam uh, Nightmare Batman being more of a nightmare than usual because he's got a reflective shield here and because reflective shield is fucked and it's not gonna make the enemy get staggered. So that happens also with Collector and with all the uh, with the Atrocity shield, with all the reflective shields that are like a passive that happens without using power, not the uh, a special two of characters that's a shield because with that it makes sense that they're not gonna get staggered that has been the case always but with this no that's new and that was annoying to deal with that was extremely annoying to deal with and i had so many leagues uh, i fought that had nightmare batman dark side collector nightmare batman dark side collector again and again and again i think that's 90 percent of the teams that i fought but I, I managed, okay? This is inconvenient. I hope it gets fixed in the future. But I managed. It's not the end of the world. But when you don't give me the rewards after having to deal with that garbage, then that's a problem. We had the, the goddamn dodge mechanic, which I think is the worst mechanic in the game. And I, I want to talk about that a little bit because I saw a comment that's, oh, the dodge mechanic makes the League Invasions a bit more interesting, Sigvold. Because with, with Soul Race, there's no dodge and you can just combo interrupt or infinite combo the enemies. Look, first of all, you can't combo interrupt every single thing here. 
There's like collector characters, there's like reflective shield characters, there's already diversity in terms of that. The only thing that you would probably be able to combo and chop easily enough is gonna be a dark side if you get him tagged in. And at that point, if you make one mistake, you're dead. So it's something that rewards good gameplay. And dodge is a terrible mechanic itself because i'm all for difficulty make this as difficult as you want but at the same time make it manageable make me feel like i'm gonna have a very terrible time when dealing with this the first few times but as i get better as i get more experience at dealing with this uh I, I'm, I'm gonna do better against it and it's gonna be less frustrating and the best example i can give of that is um both last of Joker and Dawn of Apocalypse, the first time I fought that man, I think it took like 20 attempts. Now I can probably kill him in one attempt if I'm lucky, if not two attempts, because I get better at it. I get better at interacting with the mechanic, I know what to do, and he can still kill me if I mess up once, and it's pretty likely I'll mess up once, but it's a situation that I'll feel like if I messed up, it's my fault. When I'm playing this garbage, if the enemy dodges and kills my character, how is that my fault? How, what could I have I done to avoid that? What could I do to improve in the future? So this mechanic feels less frustrating and I'm better at dealing with it. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's why I think it's a terrible mechanic. Like, yeah, it makes it harder, definitely. You can't spam infinite combos and combo interruption. But you can't really do that anyway against most characters. And with infinite combos, I guess except for Batman in the round with God Killer. Except for that specifically, most characters that are able to do infinite combos are usually not able to do enough damage to, like, kill the enemies. So that's something you'll have to deal with. Dark Side Bombardment interrupts infinite combos. There's a lot of things that enemies can do in this game, or generally speaking, to not get infinite comboed anyway. But when I'm playing it well, I'm having a good time, and there's a random dodge, and Dark Side just starts slapping my ass while I was in the middle of my combo, and starts using a special, and then changes two specials from that, and murders my character. That does not feel good. That doesn't feel good at all. Also, it's, it's probably a me problem, but with the um, uh, promotion, like, look, we're going to do better this season. I don't think we had the best defensive team last season, uh, and that's where we lost a lot of points. We killed all our opponents, and we only landed on the 30th place, 30th place in Division 6, and we went down a division for being 30th place, which, hey, kind of sucks. We're going to deal with it. But there's just so much things you need to deal with. And if I saw the rewards on the, on the email, if I saw the gathering rewards on the email, and I was like to, uh, able to upgrade my passive uh, on Batman Ninja Batman, I would have been so much more willing to deal with the dodge mechanic, with the bug reflective shields, with the bringing up passive not working. But I'm just mad at this point, because I feel like I dealt with all of that for absolutely no reward. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!